Life is change, growth is optional. You know, generally throughout our life, we all face changes. We change jobs, we change from single into a relationship, out of a relationship. We move to different parts of our country or move to other countries. We interact with different people on a regular basis. When you're a financial advisor, it's even more complex than that because every day is a different day. You interact with all kinds of people. <music> situations arise, some expected, some unexpected. This is what I would like to talk about today. You know, if you're not learning, you're not growing. And if you're not growing, you're dying. Because every day, things change. Your situation changes, your environment changes. How prepared are you for change? And how are you resilient are you when change occurs? One moment, you're inside, the next moment you're outside. One moment you're in heat, the next moment you're at minus 25 in Northwest Territories. Change happens on a regular basis. 2,000 years later. I often find myself in different realities because of what I do. I'm a general manager of an airline in Northwest Territories. And so we're dealing with aircraft, small aircraft like this, larger aircraft, passenger aircraft, charter aircraft. So there's a lot going on in my life in every day. Plus, I do this coaching. Plus, I'm writing books. Plus, I'm raising grandchildren. My life is complex. But every opportunity, every situation you find yourself in, there's an opportunity for you to learn something. The choice is yours. And I believe that if you're not learning, you're losing your competitive advantage. So this is my reality in the Northwest Territories. It's cold here in the winter, but I love it. It's fresh, I feel invigorated, I feel stimulated. Why? Because of this environment. Because the environment is so severe sometimes, it gives you a wake-up call. When was your last wake-up call? You know, last year I turned 76. Over three quarters of a century I've been alive and on this planet. And at different points in my life, I've done different things. Uh, as you can tell from my current reality, I'm involved in a lot of different things. And it causes me to be very adaptive to change. Many people are adverse to change. They like the status quo. They like to have absolute control. They like the routine. If you're in the financial services industry, that is not possible. Every day is going to be different. Every day is going to be filled with things that work and things that don't work. And so really what you want to be thinking about is how can you make the most of each situation? How can you go into a situation and not take something away from it? How can you go into a situation and say, what can I learn from this reality? And so it's really important when you do your job, look for opportunities to learn. Look for a chance to take a, away something of value from any experience, regardless of the experience. We can learn from bad situations as much as we can from good ones. It's whether you take yourself into account. You know, something I do, I do a lot of training. Uh, later this year, I'm going to be doing some work in Turkey with a number of very talented individuals from a company in Lithuania. And when I do that is I'm going to have this little routine that I use on a regular cases. When I get up in the morning and I'm shaving and showering and all the rest of that, I'll be thinking about that group and I'll be asking myself a question. How do I add value today with this audience. And then at the end of the day, just after I'm ready to go to sleep and I'm lying down in the bed, I'll go through a process with myself and I'll say, did I add value? Did I make a difference? Could I have done something differently? And if I find there's any gaps, tomorrow I'll work harder because I want to make sure that I give value. So there are three things that I live by in my life. Three words I live by. First, blessings. I feel blessed that I'm at the age I am and that I'm alive and that I'm healthy and that I'm not faced with any chronic illnesses and that I'm able to do the things I'm able to do. I feel grateful because I do have health. I'm grateful because I do have people who love me and people I love. I have very good friends where I live here. I have a very strong family relationships. I'm married to a wonderful lady almost 50 years now. I feel grateful for these people in my life. And I'm thriving. I'm thriving as a human being. You know, many people, when they get older, or even if they don't get older, they stop growing, they stop learning, they plateau in their life. In the past, you could plateau and you could maintain the status quo, but because it's, everything's changing in the world, you're gonna lose momentum. You're gonna lose your that plateau. In fact, you're gonna slip down and not be current. I don't want to be current. I wanna be in front, I wanna lead. And I think that's what makes me effective as a coach. 
approach, effective as a father, effective as a husband, and effective as a grandparent. I hope I am effective here in the airline industry in which I work. I hope that I add value to people. I hope that I am growing because I look for it. Are you looking for it? Are you looking at each opportunity as a growth opportunity, as an opportunity rather than an obstacle? The choice is always yours. Again, if you're not learning, you're not growing. And if you're not growing, you're dying. The choice is yours.